Hey everyone, so before I start this video, I do want to give a huge disclaimer to this. Um, after re-watching this video as I was uh, editing it, um, this method should only be used for testing on your own servers. Do not use this method in production. I'm still trying to figure this out. You know, because even when you see what I'm doing, it it'll, there's actually a little thing that says don't use this in production. Um, I'm trying to figure out the production side of things still, but I do want to mention that this should only be used for testing on your own servers. Do not use this for production. Okay. All right. On to the video. Thanks. Hey, my friends. Mike here again. And today I'm going to talk about how to connect N8N with Superbase on Coolify, all self hosted. Um, one of my issues has been is that I, when using this, you know, I wanted to use my own self hosted Superbase account instead of the cloud account because you can self host Superbase on. Coolify. And so my hardest problem though was how to get, connect the two, like using the API to connect the accounts. So that's what this video is for. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I will mention that this you, this will be all public. So if we look at my self-hosted project here, you can see it's actually pulling data. But this is technically public, so I would consider setting up the RLS. Go back. So I would seriously consider setting it up. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to look at the docs real quick with you guys to show you how I figured this out. Uh, we'll create a new super base project. We'll create new keys. We'll create the database. Uh, we'll set up the credentials and we'll go from there. And like I said, I hope I don't make this too long, but you know, it is what it is. And also I do like to mention that you know, I am not an expert at any of this. This is, you know, I'm still learning myself and I'm trying to figure this all out for myself. So if you see holes or you see an issue, please let me know and I can update these videos or, you know, make comments or something. So let's get started with this. So obviously you need to have your Coolify set up and all ready to go. We're just gonna go to projects. And we're going to go up here to add a project. And we'll call this the N8N Hoopa Base Vector uh, EB. I don't know. We'll call it something like that. We'll just continue. Just do production. We'll add a resource. And if you just search, or search, it keeps moving. Hoopa Base, you will find Stupa Base. Now, this is where it's going to get really ugly really fast. So please try to follow along with me here. But the first thing we want to do before we deploy this, we want to set up all the env environment variables and everything else first. Uh, let's just change. Let's just change that to vector N8N. Save that. And also, don't forget, this is your username and password to log in. But we need to set up these environment variables. And now this this is where I got really confused, because if you go to the do the documents for self hosting, you know, everything's very confusing. I mean, here's APIs. None of this worked for me. Now, that could be the way I have cool Coolify set up with all my caddy and traffic and IP and firewalls. But you need to go to this page, the self hosting with Docker. I'll leave a link below. And when you scroll down, you will see this right here to generate API keys. So we need to get our JWT secret. So if we go here to our variables and we just search JWT uh, service password. So here is my JWT. Let's see. It's one. Of, it's just this gibberish right here. Yes, so we're just going to copy this and bring it into this here and I'm going to paste it and then we'll get our anon key first. So if we just generate, we get this massive key here. So I'll just copy this and then we want to change this to that function. So if we just search for anon. 
I think there's only two of them. So this is it right here. So if I just select this and then paste my new code, and then I want to change that to what they have. So we're just going to, I'm just going to change it to an on key. Well, I can just delete this. And then we're going to update that. And then the next one we want to change is the service key. So we'll generate that key and it's service role key. Now I always struggled finding this one because it is written funny, but if we just search service, I believe it's this one because it looks the same. So if we just take this key, we're going to copy that one, go back in here. So service underscore super base service dash key. I'm going to delete that, paste the new one. And then I want to call it service role key. So we'll just update that, update that. Now the next thing you need to change is uh, I think it's the API. There should be, oh, so you might want to put your open AI key in there. Uh, let me try to see what I'm actually looking for. Yeah, so this right here, your API external URL. So this doesn't work, no matter how much you try to, <laughs> this just doesn't work. So what I do, um, if we just go to general, well, actually, we can just go to links. So just copy this link. Now, if you wanted to change your URL, you go to the Superbase Kong right here. And this is where you can change the domain name. But I'm just going to keep it this crazy long thing for this one. So in your own instance, you might want to, I would change that to something a little easier to understand. And where do we go again? So we go to API external URL. And then I am just going to paste this in here and update. So now that is updated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this and I'll be right back. Now I do want to mention real quick too that when you're creating this, it this takes a while. But if you can kind of see in the dark here, it is green. So technically it's ready, but it's still it's still spinning up all the other stuff. There's a lot of stuff that it has to pull. So just let this run for a while. You know, go take a 10 minute break and come back. So once again, I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so this is still going. And as you can see, when you go through your services here, you will see that they're still yellow. I mean, technically you can run it, but I would wait for everything to get green. You know, don't try to force this. Just like I said, it takes a while. You know, let's try to refresh, see if anything. Oh, look, now they're all green. This one almost never works for me. I have no idea why. Sometimes this one. So I don't know what this Mino, Mino, Minio is. But sometimes this doesn't set up. Other times it does. I don't know why. All right. So we should be ready to go. So what you're going to need to do here is we'll go to links and then click on our crazy link and we should get this username and password, which right here is our username and password. So we'll just copy these. And then this crazy password. And we'll sign in. And we are in our project. Yay. So the next thing we need to do is create. So we did the database, we created the keys. So now we want to create our database for the agent here. And now I want to show you guys that when you go and click on the super, va super base vector store and click on docs right here, it'll open up this cool page. And then if you go to this quick start for setting up your vector store, you get this cool SQL. I would just copy this whole thing. If you're doing self-hosted, copy the whole thing. And if we go into our super base here and go to SQL editor, and then just paste this. Sometimes I get an error doing this, sometimes I don't. And we run it. So it was success, no rows returned. So now if I go to my tables, you see I have a document table with nothing in it. Yay. So that is good. And once again, just copy paste. 
And so now to set up our credentials, so this is the one that's not set up, yep. So what you're gonna wanna do is create a new credential. And so your host, so now we need to set up our credentials for this. Now I already played with this, I got it to work just to make sure. So basically what you're gonna do is go to your link here, you're gonna copy your link and put it as the host. And then inside of your, your Superbase project, we're gonna go to API docs and then go here to authentication. And then up here it says bash. So click on bash and then unhide your keys. I just basically clicked on this and it basically shows you both your keys. Um, you can use either one of these. These both work for me. I don't know why, but just copy this key, paste it in here. You can see that's this one that, so there's dash dash eight F zero. Oh, I use this one. See how it's dash dash a fit. So I just copied this key. So we'll copy that. I'll put it in here and paste and then hit retry and it's set up. And then, so if we go here, we can see that my documents are sitting there. And if we test this. Everything seemed to have worked. So let's go back here to our table and our documents. And look at that. We have data now. Yay. Now, just to make sure it was actually working, I'll just test it again. Go back to our project. Let's just refresh. And now we have eight. Yay. And so now if we go to our chat agent, and then we'll set up our vector store with third account now that I've created. It's on documents. Good. So if we open up the chat, let's just put hi, make sure it's actually working. Yay. And then what is this thing called again? Pan, just say what is. And it's actually going into the database. You saw it spin up. It's now pulling the information. Now it's giving it to me. Let's see if it goes back into the data. So you can see it's going into the database. Dun, 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 dun. And so here's the GitHub repository. It actually found that link. And then there we go. So yeah, that's how you do it. So once again, um, if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know if there's a better way to do this. Um, I hope everything works for you. Uh, let me know in the comments. And like I said, I would probably set up public our SSLs or SQLs and stuff to make sure that stuff's not all public. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you again.